guys this is Patricia here from all things taught silhouette YouTube channel um, I'm here I usually do silhouette videos silhouette cameo videos but today what I'm going to be doing is a video for Photoshop um, I know a lot of people they get lost and they don't quite understand how Photoshop shop works and if they're like me they get lost on the very very first um, opening of Photoshop like the page um, as you can see it shows locked here it shows the background and usually people don't go any further than that um, if you're like me I would always cry I've had a CS 3 4 5 and 6 and I didn't actually learn Photoshop until CS 6 um, but I'm here to show you guys um, a way that you can actually learn and pretty much understand Photoshop um, what I use is something called the hamburger method um, and this is a method so that you basically can understand how layers um, how to manipulate your layers and different things like that and I think that's probably like the hang up for most of um, most of the pages like for getting um, started with Photoshop itself I think that's more of the hang up for most people because they don't understand the layers what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on this YouTube uh, this uh, first layer and I'm gonna turn it on and this only so that you guys can kind of get the information you need to be able to follow me um, and then once I turn it off I'm gonna turn off the, the eyedropper and then I'm gonna start from the very beginning um, so this is only so that you can kind of see who I am and you can follow or whatever you choose to do. Um, but anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, turn the eye off and then I'm going to bring it to the trash can. This is the trash, so that layer is deleted. Now, when you guys start, you're going to see that it's a lock layer. Um, the lock layer, with it being locked, you basically can't do much. Um, with the layer being locked except add a new layer it depends on what you're actually doing um, if it's a PNG or something like that you can keep the layer locked or if you're doing um, a pattern or something like that you can unlock it what I do is I always unlock it and by unlocking it what I do is I'll double click it and so when I double click it now you don't have to lock layer anymore and so I, I keep this layer free I don't usually or I don't typically use that layer now if I'm trying to uh, place something on the whole entire layer what I would do is I would basically create a new layer and so this layer I don't necessarily need I just I just keep it there I don't necessarily need it so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn it off and so in order for you to see what I mean by turning it off you have two of the same layers if I turn both of them off now you have something that kind of looks like a PNG background. If I turn the first layer on, then if I turn the first layer on, that's actually this layer. And so it's turned on. If I turn it off, then nothing's there because the top layer is off. So now I'm going to turn this layer on. Um, a lot of times we get confused with layers. And that's what I'm basically here to teach you is more about the layers. Uh, and we're going we're gonna to use the technique of the hamburger once you can understand the hamburger technique then everything should be smooth sailing then you can kind of go on to your tools but before you before you can do anything as far as designing or anything else if you don't understand the concept of the layers you will never get past anything so that's what I'm basically here teaching you is how to create your layers so I'm not going to create it on this white. I'm going to create it so that it's on its own layer. So don't worry about this. Just think that this layer is omitted and, and there's nothing there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer. And what it is is you start from the bottom. So this is my very first layer. If I'm, if I'm making a hamburger, all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my tool and I'm going to go to ellipse tool because I'm going to make my bun you start off with your bun this will be my bun um, it has the color black but I don't want it black I'm just gonna put it like a brown it's a brown so now we have the bun that's the first beginning of your layer that's your very first layer 
and I'm going to name it bun. And so this is basically how you're going to understand everything. So now when I want to stack my um, cheese on top of it, I'm going to go to the bottom and I'm going to create another layer. And so for my cheese, I'm just going to make a rectangle. This is my rectangle. I'm going to place it yellow. May not be the same. Well, I'm going to place it like an orange color. And this is basically so you can kind of get the concept of what everything looks like. So now I have my cheese. And what I'm going to do is actually I'm not going to put it as a um, rectangle. I'm going to put it as a, um, as a ellipse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete it. I'm going to bring it down, drag it to the trash, and then I'm going to create a new layer again. I'm going to go back to the ellipse, to the, um, tool and I'm going to make it a round rectangle. I'm going to change my color to, to orange. And so now I have my cheese and this is how I, um, uh, one we use this wrong tool you're using the lips tool so this is my cheese and so my cheese is on top of my bun which is there and so for most of you um for me when i make my hamburger i make my bun then i make my cheese and then my next layer i'm going to first name this one cheese then I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to add another layer. This is your next layer. The next layer I create is my meat. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to use the ellipse tool again. I'm going to change the color. And this time I'm just going to get um, a darker color for my meat. So now you have your meat. I just added my meat. So my bottom bun is, my bottom is my bun. The next one is my cheese. This one is my meat. And so this is how I make a hamburger. And so this is, this is the concept of stacking. Uh, the concept is you start from the bottom and you build from the bottom. Um, and it's the same concept. If I was making a snowman, this would have been, my bottom um, circle, my next circle, and then the following circle. And then from there, I start adding other stuff on top. So we have our meat. And then on top of my meat, you can actually put cheese again. That's up to you. Now, I already have cheese. But if I wanted to add cheese again, all I'm going to do is bring it down. And all I'm doing is basically copying. So I copied it, but you can't see where it is. It's a copy here, but in order to place it over your meat so that you know where it goes, then you place it there. And all I'm going to do is free transform and I'm going to make it smaller so you can see. So now I have my cheese over my meat. Which is here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color. And the reason I'm changing the color so I don't confuse you guys. So we're going to put that cheese, maybe a yellow. We're going to put it yellow. So now we have our next cheese. So we have bread, we have cheese, we have meat, and we have another piece of cheese. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this cheese off, but I'm going to just show you how you can continue to build. So I turned that cheese off, and this was a layer that, um, that I had that had actually made before I, before I copied the uh, cheese. So the next layer, we're going to name it, it's going to be a lettuce. And this is basically how I, how I make my, um, how I make my hamburger. And you, you'll understand it in just a sec. When I finish it, you'll understand it. So now we have our lettuce, which is our lettuce. And we're going to put lettuce. And then we're going to add a new layer. And that new layer, we're going to put our tomato. And we're just going to change the color. And that's our tomato. And so now that's the tomato. That's the 
that's the tomato. And so once you've finished um, building your layers, um, so I'm just going to delete this for now, just so I can kind of give you an idea. So what I did was I built my, I built my hamburger. I'm not finished with my hamburger because I still have to place a bun on top. And so in order to place that bun on the top, all I have to do is create a new layer, actually copy the layer, not create a new layer, take that bun, place it on the top, and it'll go here. So now this is my bun on the top. And I'm moving it back so that you can see everything else that's on it. So you can see everything else that's on it. And that's so that you can see everything else that's on it. So what I did was I um I created a new layer. Y'all gotta excuse my phone. I'm trying to put the ringer down. That's my niece. So um this is my bun. We've created the bun. And so this is how you stacked everything. So you have your your meat. I mean you have your bun, you have your cheese, you have your meat, you have your lettuce. Now, it's the same concept, and I'm going to show you the same exact concept. Don't worry about this. What I'm going to do is, because this is in the same field. Uh-oh. Let me go back. It made it too big, so what I'm trying to do is put it down to at least... 50%. Actually, I'm going to put it smaller than that, 33.3%. I'm not sure why I did that, but, but either way, that's okay. Um, I'm going to just put it to fit the screen. And I, I'm not exactly sure why it's doing that, because that's like the second time it's done that. And so what I'm doing is I'm just changing it, everything to one color. And so now you know all of these are in a group. These are all in the same group. And so what I'm going to do is with my back layer, with this layer, actually this one isn't in the group. I'll put no color. So what I'm going to do with the back layer is I'm going to change that layer color and I'm going to put it black because I'm going to make a snowman and I'm going to show you the same thing I did to, um, with the layers to teach you how to create the hamburger is the same thing that you would actually do with um, creating a snowman. And so what we're going to do is we're going to change the color. And all I'm going to do is just throw it on there. And so now we just changed the color. And so if we don't want to look at this cheeseburger or a hamburger or whatever, you can just turn all of these off because now we're creating um, a new layer which is going to go on the top we're going to start it to the top because these are all their own layers so this is the top so now to create that snowman we need it white so I'm just going to create a circle that's my first circle my first ellipse and then if I want, I can either copy it or make another ellipse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it or dupl duplicate it. And of course, they're not the same size. So all I have to do is um, make it just a tad bit smaller. Or you can keep it. It doesn't matter. Either one. That's up to you. That's basically up to you. And then I'm going to create another one, which I duplicated. And so now we have all three of our ellipses. We have all three ellipses. Um, if you want, you can com combine all three of those. Uh, you can combine these these three. I'm not sure why I keep doing that. Um, I did update, and I'm I'm with I think 2020, and for some reason it keeps going up. I'm not exactly sure, but I'll figure it out um, once this video is is complete. I'll probably figure figure it out after that. Because this is just me updating.
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge the shapes. And what I did is when I merged it, it made one, one shape. So it's one shape. When it wasn't merged, it was three different shapes. And so I'm just going to put snowman. And so I can start building his hat. So I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to go to a rectangle. You can change your color on it. I'm just going to change the color. And of course, it's not going to stay that color. And so I'm going to create another layer, but that layer, I'm going to do it on top of the snowman. And this color is going to be uh, supposed to be black, but I'm going to outline it so you guys can see. Or I'm going to change it to silver either way. And actually, it's going to go on top of the hat. And so in order to change, in order to change it now, what I'm going to do, and you can tell what layer you're on by clicking it on and off. As you can see, I'm clicking it on and off and now it's going, it's going out. And so I'm going to go to a gradient and I'm going to just change it to a silver gradient just so that it can look um, a little different. Something a little bit nicer. And so that's that's fine it has like a little bluish tone but that's okay and um for the hat you can also change that and i can go into my pattern papers and i can change the hat color to whatever color i want from my pattern paper and if i wanted something different different color i'm just not sure what I can actually do a pattern paper or I can do um, a gradient overlay. So instead of doing the pattern, what I'll do is a gradient and I'll put it like a red gradient. Some type of red gradient. And press OK. And just so that it stands out a little bit, I'm going to put a stroke on it. So I place the stroke and you can put it on the outside. That's up to you. I think it looks better on the inside. And then you can actually increase the size. It may not look like anything right now, but it's just kind of to show you. And so um, it's here. And now I'm just going to put like the little buttons and I'm going to start with the eyes. I'm not good with that, but I just want to show you guys how easy it is to kind of make everything. And so that's one eye. And what I did was I duplicated it. And then you can make a nose. And so what I'm trying to do is make the nose pretty much um Pretty much, uh, pretty much to look like a, more like a, a carrot. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to transform path. And I'm going to go to skew. And so with me going to skew, all it's doing is making something for me. Um, so that it kind so that I make it look kind of like a, uh, a carrot or something and so to change that color we want to probably put it orange and we don't want to stroke on it and 
So all I did was, uh, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do like a drop shadow to get it to look more realistic. Do a normal drop shadow. doing the walk to kind of bring that curve to give it more of that um, more of a carrot kind of look and then to the bottom I'm going to do the same thing and free transform I'm going to walk it to the bottom just a little bit just to give it a little um, definition and dimension see to the top So I think that looks a little bit better. And so when you're drawing, um, you can kind of um, shape things to how you want to shape them too. Now, if it had a mouth, if you wanted um, to create a mouth, you can actually you can actually do that as well. Um, but I think there is a um, there's a text that I've used in the past. And so all of that I've done, all of that I've done. And I'm just going to name it. Come on. I'm not sure what it's doing. Come on. Okay, there it is. And I'm just going to name it. And I'm just going to put nose. Uh -oh. And of course, these are our eyes. And in order to tell what they are, all you have to do is just click on it. And so I won't name the other two. That's the hat and then the hat little filler or what have you. And then you can create a mouth. Um, you can create a, um, a mouth and you can actually um, create that using this pen tool. And it's, it's kind of simple to do it. All you're basically doing is drawing. And as you can see, I created the mouth and if I if I didn't want um if I didn't want that mouth kind of like that I can actually adjust it to how I how I pretty much wanted it and then I can I can also edit it in my um free transform uh -oh. Also edit it where I walk it. Uh -uh. Well, I'm not going to go all deep into that. But anyway, if I wanted to change the mouth, I could have changed the mouth and made it more um, curved or brought it down some. And then, of course, you have your little... Um, little buttons or whatever and I'm just going to use ellipse and we're going to keep that black as well and there is a way to make it actually look like a button and what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to make it look like a button for you All I'm doing is putting a small circle. A small um, ellipse is what I needed. And I did create a new layer for that. So that's one. And so these are all going to go together. Two, 
So all I'm going to do is just, I'm going to put three just to kind of show you guys. Like it's a little button or what have you. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all three of these. <sighs> Come on. You better be kidding me. I don't know why it's doing it. So I brought it back down. And then I'm going to merge the shapes. And we'll put like a drop shadow on it. And it's a normal drop shadow. And you probably can't see it much, but it, it is there. And then this is the actual shape. And drop shadow is white. It's a. Uh, it's not showing because of the because of the um black. It's actually black. That's why it wasn't showing. And so now you can see it better here. So we do the spread a little bit better. And so now what we can do is um we can add these two together. And I'm hoping it doesn't because I've, I've yep it does it does it again. I gotta go back in again. I'm bring it down, bring it down to the size. This screen, I don't know why I keep doing that. It must be something with the, um, it must be something with the new, uh, uh oh, what happened? It has to be something with the new. With the newest uh, program they have. I'm not sure what just happened. Ellipse. It's the ellipse. That's the store man. Did I delete something? That's the news. I think I deleted something. I'm not exactly sure if I deleted something or not. Oh, there it is. It's bad. I'm not going to try to put them together. All I'm going to do is uh, now I'm just going <sighs> to. I hate this. All I'm going to do is just uh, copy because it's going to keep doing the same thing over and over. So I'm just going to copy it. And I'm going to make it smaller. And then I'm going to do the same thing again. Just copy it. But I'm going to copy this one because that one's bigger and I want to make that one a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to copy it. It got to be something new that they've done for it to do that. Because um, it didn't used to do that before. So I did update too. I did do an update. So I'm not exactly sure why it's doing that. And so... Now all of this is together. Um, you can add limbs or what have you. You can add all of that. But as you can see, everything was built from the bottom. You have your um, snowman, which is here. And then you have your hat rectangle. Then you have the um, your other rectangle for the other little part. Then you built your eyes. And then the mouth, which is here, which is your mouth. And so you have everything there and it's basically, and, and I'm going to show you something. Say for instance, you had, um, you had your hat in order to figure out what, what, um, what you're on. You can go and click on something. Say for instance, you had your hat here. And, um, if I move that hat under the snowman, you can see it moved part of it moved and and it's on top it's on it's in the back of the actual snowman it's in the back of the actual snowman same thing for here if i click this and i put it in back of the snowman that's how you build your layers you know it doesn't go there so of course you know it's going to want you're going to want to put it on the top so you're going to place it on top of the snowman and you're going to uh, take this one as well and you're going to place it on top now, say for instance, if I had placed it on top of the other rectangle, 
you know that isn't correct because it's on top of that. So what you would do next is you would take it that one and you would put it under the bottom because that's where it's supposed to be. And so that's basically how your layers work. Everything works according to you building. You're going to build everything. If I wanted to add arms or feet or anything, I would add it and I would add it starting above. Like I would put another layer here and then for one arm. And then if I wanted to put another arm, I would put another, I would do another layer. And then if I wanted to do the feet, I'd put another feet and I would just keep continuing to build the layers. And the reason you don't place them on the same layer is because if you need to go back and make changes, if I had placed these two on the same layers and I needed to go and make changes, I wouldn't be able to make the changes unless it made the changes to both of them. If I wanted to change this rectangle from um, the color that it is, I can go back to gradient and I can change it from that blue color and I can put it a totally different color than, um, than what you're actually seeing. Like here we have that, that grayish um, look to it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to take some of this and uh -oh. I don't want that color and I don't want that there. I want this to come here so I can kind of brighten it up and I can add a little red, a little, um, a little black there, or I can keep it in the same place that it was and it doesn't show as much black. If I move it and then as you can see here, how it's showing just a little bit of the darkness, I can actually start moving these around so that I can get the same darkness up to the top. And so all I'm going to do is press on it, click it here, and then you just start moving them. And as you can see, you can see the darkness. You can see it here. It's coming in more up to the top. I can move it over and it's not as dark to the top and then I can press OK. Um, I can press OK. Uh -uh. And then just press OK. Now to go on to the hat, if I don't like what I see there, um, it's a gradient and I actually want a pattern, I don't have to go with um, that gradient. I can take that gradient off and I can actually I can take that uh, pattern off and I can actually go with a different pattern. Um, a different pattern of my choice. If I wanted to make it a something crazy or funky or whatever, I don't have all of my, um, I have all of my patterns uh, loaded here, but it's just to show you that a few of my um, patterns that I do have that I could have actually used um, to make the snowman hat or whatever. If I could get to the red, like if I wanted to do something like that, I could have done that. Um, it's basically your choice of how you want to make your, um, your patterns. And if I wanted to do a gold, uh, I can do gold. Or if I didn't want to do that, I can do a gradient. And I just go into the gradients and I can pull something from here to um, make whatever color I wanted to make. Or if I didn't want to do those and I wanted to utilize a style, I can go into my styles and um, do something in the styles. Whereas also you can maneuver or manipulate. And let's see. You can actually manipulate. Um, some of the styles to what you want them to look like. And of course, I, I wouldn't want that. I'm going to see if I can find something. Uh-oh. Just something red. Like, if I wanted to use something like that, I can actually use um, something like that. And this can also be manipulated. So I can go into the FX where it has a drop shadow. I can kind of change. Um, I can kind of change what is, you know, pretty much what it's showing. It has a pattern. It has a gradient. It has an overlay. It has satin. It has an inner glow. Um, if I wanted to change that inner glow up a little bit, I can go back in 
and change it up. I can change the inner shadow, um, as you can see here. Uh, different things are, are changing. I can change my, my depth and my size. As you see, I just changed the size uh, here, and it made it look different, a little bit different. So if I wanted to go with a hat looking like that, I can do that as well. Um, I hope this has actually helped you guys. Um, it's basically learning your layers. Once you understand the layers or the concept of the layers, everything else becomes much, much easier. So I hope this has helped. Um, if you have any questions, um, please don't hesitate to ask. I don't mind answering questions at all. Um, anything I can do to help, just please let me know. Um, go to my YouTube channel hit that subscribe button so you can get notified. I have a lot of different videos that'll be coming out. Um, this one, I don't actually um, do Photoshop videos. I think I'm going to start another, um, start another uh, YouTube channel for the Photoshop videos. Um, but I hope this has helped you guys. And please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button because it does help me. Have a great evening. Bye.